so welcome back to the class of decimals and today we are going to learn about converting decimals into fractions and converting fractions into decimals so let's start with the first one that is converting decimals into fractions i have already written some examples to save our time but i will be solving it in front of you so please pay attention so 2.5 So 2.5 in this number, 2 is the whole number part and 0.5 is the decimal part. So this one can be represented as 2 whole 5. This is the 10th place, so you will write it as 2 whole 5 by 10. Now this 5 by 10 can be reduced into 1 by 2. So 2.5. that I have taken is 3.7 30.7 so 13.7 once again 13 here is the whole number part and 0.7 so 7 is in the decimal part and it is in the 10th place so we can write it as 13 whole 7 by 10 ok and this is a mixed fraction if you are going to change it into an improper fraction write it as 137 by 10. Is that clear to you? Now next comes converting fractions into decimals. To convert fractions into decimals, you will see what is the number. Like here it is 2 by 10. That means it is 0. Now see the next number that I have taken. The next fraction is 3 by 2. Now, how will we convert 3 by 2? The easiest uh, way is that you multiply a number with the denominator so that you get here a rounded number such as 10, 100, 1000, etc. So, here the nearest rounded number is 10. So, you will multiply 5 with the denominator to make it 10. But the rule of equivalent fraction says that when you are uh, multiplying a number to the denominator or to the numerator you need to uh, multiply it with the denominator or the numerator also. So 5 will be multiplied both with the numerator and the denominator and we get 15 by 10 ok and 15 by 10 can be written as 1.5 so the decimal representation of 3 by 2 is 1.5. The next number is 3 whole 3 by 5. So 3 whole 3 by 5 is a mixed fraction. So to convert it into an improper fraction, what you will do? You will multiply 3 into 5, that is 15. Then add 3 to 15, that, then you get it as 18 by 5. So the number is 18 by 5. So to make 5, 10, what we will do? So you will multiply 2 with the numerator and the denominator both. So multiply 2 with the numerator and the denominator. So when you multiply 2 with numerator and denominator, you get it as 36 by 10. Isn't it student? You get 36 by 10. So 36 by 10 can be written as 3.6. Is that clear? Okay. So this is how we represent fractions as decimals. Okay. So now we will continue with representing decimals on numbers. Start children with representation of numbers, decimal numbers on the number line. So as you all know the first number on the number line is Okay. Then, as I told you in my first class that a decimal part is a part of a whole. When we divide a whole into different parts, then each part is a decimal part. So, when, if I plot 1 over here, then in between the smaller parts, as you can see in a scale, they are the 
decimal parts of which fall in between 0 and 1. So this one is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 and 1. Similarly and we continue 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1 1.7, 1.8, 1.9 and we get here 2. Then we continue 1, 2 1, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9 and we get here 3. Okay. So if I ask you that plot a number 0.7. So where are you going to plot? Tell me. You will count from here. This is 0. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So this point is 0 0.74. Okay. If I ask you to plot another point that is 1.4. So what are you going to plot? Where are you going to plot? So you will count. This is 1. So then next is 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. So this is the point. Is 1.4 point. Next comes 2. So uh, suppose we take another example. That is 2.9. So where are you going to plot 2.9? So you will count again. 1, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9. So, this is the point. If you are asked as there is a question in NCRT, where will you find, suppose a question comes like this, where you will, in, in between which two whole numbers does 0.5 occur? Okay, on the number line. So, the answer will be in between 0 and 1. Suppose you get a question in which, in between which two whole numbers does the point 5.4 occurs. So, where it will be? Obviously, it is 5.4 that means 5 has already occurred and 6 is about to occur on the number line. So, it, it will be in between 5, the whole numbers 5 and 6. If you are asked one more example, uh, suppose you are asked in between which two points is the number um, 6.3 there. So, w w in between which two points are there? Uh, yes, you are right. It is in between 6 and 7. So, I hope these concepts are clear to you. So, do the sums and ask your doubts to us. All the best. Stay safe and stay healthy.